EventSquid, software that thinks like you and works like eight of you. Hey everybody, it's Michael from EventSquid and today we're going to talk about speaker management. Getting speakers onto your website, into your mobile app, and on the homepage of your event website can be a very tedious process if you're not using EventSquid. With our speaker management system, you can delegate to the speaker the responsibility to register or apply for the event, upload their headshot, upload any presentation materials, and include their bio, program description, and any other details you need. To set up your form to accept speaker applications, let's head over to the builder in the Registrant Types area. From here, we'll create a profile called Speaker. This profile will be simply for accepting speaker applications. Once the profile is created, we head over to the form section. And in the form section, you'll see the speaker profile and we can open that and indicate which prompts we want on the form. As we scroll down the selector, we would check off bio, company name, position or title, and then further down, the two speaker controls that allow our form to accept speaker applications. To prompt for the headshot, we'll configure the Upload File Images section and simply describe what we need so the user can upload their headshot. Now to the form. You can see our registration form contains the information prompts we need to register a speaker. Notice the checkbox, I am applying or have been approved to speak at this event. Checking this allows the speaker to be dumped into a pool of applicants that you can approve for your event. Further into the form, we prompt for things like program description and headshot. We won't go into that now, so let's head over to the builder and see how we get these registrants into our speaker roster. By clicking the Add Speaker button at the top of the form, you'll be able to pull any applicant who's pending in your bullpen. Simply select the Add drop-down menu and select the type of speaker that this person is. You can always indicate a custom title. Now that the speaker is added, you can click the down arrow for that speaker and expose the configuration panel. Here you can change the name, title, company, and position with the company. In addition, you can import the program summary by clicking the appropriate button, which will pull the contents of what the speaker entered on the registration form into your program summary box. From here, you can make modifications suitable for publishing. You can do the same with the bio. To work with documents, click into the Document Manager area and you will immediately be able to see all of the documents uploaded by speakers to this point. You can configure these documents to display on the website, on mobile, to show to attendees only or just checked in attendees, or to show after the event begins or any combination of the five. Remember, you can always upload your own documents on behalf of speakers and register your own speakers if you wish. To assign speakers to agenda or schedule slots, just head over to the manager area for your agenda and find the session, click on the speakers and room button, and simply select the speaker you want to add to that session. You can add as many speakers as you want to a session. When users view your agenda, on the website or in the mobile app, they'll be able to click on any of the speakers to reveal their description, their bio, the sessions they're speaking in, and their materials. That's speaker management on EventSquid.